Hi everyone. Remember these kind of questions where you would always divide your numerator and denominator with cos square x. Then put tan x as t. So secant square x dx becomes dt. And that whole lengthy process plus your special integrals. What if I give you a short trick to solve this question? It is very useful not only for your competitive exams but also to verify your final answer even if you are following the traditional method. Want to see how quickly I solve these? Let's get started. So the answer to this one should be That's it. This one Yes, and the last one Want to know how I did it in just two seconds? Well, let's check out the trick. If you ever come across this form where the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is a pi by 2, the numerator has just 1 divided by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x. It is not important that these a square and b square should be perfect squares. The answer to such a question is always pi upon 2ab. Yes. So if we look at it, now on comparing your a would be 5 and your b would be 4. So pi upon 2 into a into b simply gives us the answer pi by 40. Look at this one here. Whether you keep it here or here, it doesn't make a difference. Anyway, your a is root 11, your b is 7. So pi upon 2 into a into b is pi upon 14 root 11. You would have got the trick by now. So here your a is 6 and b is 2. Thus your pi upon 2 into 6 into 2 is simply pi by 24. Wasn't that so simple? So if you like this trick, which I'm sure you did, don't forget to share this video with people around you. Give this video a big thumbs up and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. I will see you with the next one real soon. Until then, bye-bye.